What's going on, love boss? Quick word. I don't care how much you tell somebody to repent or get baptized. This goes for anybody in camps, in church, on? or whatever. I don't care how much you say repent or get baptized to somebody. If you're not showing that in your actions, then it's just talking because it's on the lips. I don't care how. Okay. Let me stop right here, right? First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that grew well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Shalom to the uh, Shalom to your Akim. Shalom to your very few sincere Aqua. And Shalom to the 144,000. Now it's gonna be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of your how by Shim I'm actually really pressed for time. But I wanted to do this video here because one of the brothers of the GMS uh Charlotte, North Carolina can't the brother you Wong, right? He actually um, sent me some uh, sent me some screenshots of this dude right here with his long ass hair, right? You know, uh, uh, coming on the brother's comic board is pretty much harassing him, man. You see, let me tell you something about you long hair. You long hair men that are out there with these nasty ass dreads. The spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you. Hello? Is this thing on? You know? See, when it comes to Jake, the lights are on, but no one's home. Cut that nasty ass hair. It is not attractive or none of that. You see, but anyway, I'm gonna go back to what this dude said because you know, obviously the guy knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite, but yet he coming on the brother's comic boards harassing them. You see? You weak ass men that are out there, stay the hell off the comic boards, man. Just stay off the comic boards. All right now, what I want to do is I'm going to go back in the short, and Shalaki for me pausing it, I'm going to go back in the short and I'm going to analyze what he say because, you know, there's a scripture that say, you know, a, a, a man can be known, right, by the things that he speak, roughly paraphrasing, man. You see that? And when you individuals speak and the Spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with you, we see right through you individuals, man. Right, so let's go ahead and play this, uh, what you call him, and I'm going to go to his channel and check him out. This is what we do with you individuals. You see that? And when you look into this dude's eyes, something ain't right about him, man. Something's not right about him. The light, the light ain't there, brothers. You few sisters that are out there, look at this dude's eyes. Something's not right about him, man. You know, now I ain't been the truth, you know, uh, you, you know, 10, 20 years, but I've been the truth long enough to know that, you know, just listening to a person and also his actions and how he moves, you know, you can kind of tell, man. All right? So anyway, let's keep going here, because like I said, I don't have too much time. Let's let's analyze what the hell he said. Where I don't care how much you tell somebody to repent or get baptized. This goes for anybody in camps, in church. Or whatever, I don't care how much. Alright, so first and foremost, the Lord ain't dealing with the church. Or do or do you not know that? Secondly, I can't take a dude serious that got long, matted ass, nasty ass dreadlocks. You see that? Because it's showing me that he still celebrates the customs of the heathen. You see? So when you individuals speak and talk out your mouth, you're just exposing yourself, man. Right? How about you cut that hair? How about you become a new creature, man? Right? But you want to talk about, you know, uh, 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 like you got all the answers, right? Let's go ahead and grab a scripture here. You people, that, you guys don't have the answers, man. You do not. This is the book. <coughs> this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15. Just something real quick through the spirit, right? But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her for her hair uh, it's given her for a covering. You see that? So women are supposed to have long hair. And I started here for a reason, man. You see that? Women are supposed to have long hair. You see? Because that is her glory. You see that? So anytime you see a man out here with long hair, right? He's a woman. 
You see that? He he's acting like a woman. You know, you men that you know, yeah, man. Anyway, let's go back to that precept there. You know, because this long hair shit, that shit is, is, is becoming old. First Corinthians chapter eleven verse fourteen, and it reads, "Do if not nature even like it, do if not nature uh, teach you that if a man have long hair." That it is a shame unto him. You see that? So if, a, if you see a guy out here, brothers and sisters, if you see a guy out here with long hair, you see that? You should all you should uh, it should automatically register in your mind that that this dude here, the spirit ain't supping with him, man. Show me a pastor or an elder or somebody with long hair, man. You see, but guys, you know, and then if Jake try to come up, you know, with some funky ass excuse, right? He pretty much he's being sinful, man. You see? So anyway, let's keep going here, cause you know, like I said, I don't have too much time. In church or whatever, I don't care how much you say, repent or get baptized to somebody. If you're not showing that in your actions, then it's just. And you're not showing that in your actions. You have not become a new creature. You have not repented at all. This dude has not repented. You see? See, when you repent, Jake, you know, see, Jake will, will hear about, you know, people uh, uh, repenting. But re matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull up a precept here, man. You know, because you individuals out there talking about some repent, repent, repent. But this dude here, he has not repented, man. Let me see here. Slock you. I'm just... Um, I'm just getting reaching my destination, so please forgive me. Let me see. Let's go ahead and grab some scriptures on the word repent. Let me see here. Dude ain't repent, man. That nigga walking around here with long ass, long ass hair. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is the book of Acts, chapter uh, three, uh, verse nineteen. It reads, "Repent ye therefore, and be what converted, man." See that? And this dude right here, he's not converted. You see? So he's just spewing out trash. That your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You see that? So what are you talking about, bro? You know, it's like somebody, uh, 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 uh you know. <sighs> to somebody if you not... Showing that in your actions, then it's just talking because it's on the lips. Yeah, okay. that's right. And that's exactly what you're doing. A bunch of lip service. You see that? Let me see here. Be ye doers, right? Be ye doers of the word, man. And not hearers only. This is the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. And the guy don't go into no precepts or nothing. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own self. That's right. So this dude here. He's deceiving himself. You see, he's talking about repenting, but he ain't repent. And I, I believe the brother had even said that, you know, this dude act like he, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai did not have dreadlocks, Jake. Talking because it's on the lips. I don't care how many people you baptize. I don't care how many people you uh, put in the water. None of that shit don't matter. If you're not sure. Yeah, he going off, uh, right? Back. How do you get baptized now, brothers? By the word, not by no damn water, man. This dude, right? It's just too simple, man. <laughs> right? Renewed by the word. Matter of fact, uh, how can a young man cleanse his way? Right? All you gotta do is type that up. How can a young man cleanse his way? Can a young man? All right. Matter of fact, let me see what happened when I type this up. I believe it is in the book of Psalm. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 9. It reads, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Right? Not by no water. By taking heed thereto, slock it up, uh, 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 hereto according to thy word. So this is how you get washed, man. So what are you talking about, bro? You know, and again, you know, the guy, he, he, he doesn't look right in the spirit, brothers. Right, he still might be doing drugs and all of that, you know, so yeah, man, let's keep going.
many people you uh, put it in order. None of that shit don't matter. If you're not sure from your actions, no matter if somebody came across to you and did you wrong, if you're out here disrespecting people and your actions is not like example, then you could cut it. It's just in a way you're doing it for no reason. You just telling all these people to repent and get baptized, but do you not even live by example? Yeah, yeah, he 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 going off. He thinking that the baptism is still with water, and you know you can be in fake white man church and get baptized. You know, so the dude is off. You know, you pretty much get it. You know, his nasty ass hair, right? You mended her out there with his nasty ass hair. The Lord ain't dealing with it. Ezekiel forty four twenty. Neither shall they shave, like neither shall they shave their heads, right? Because you're not supposed to put a razor to your head. Then it says, nor suffer thy locks, right? Talk about dreadlocks to grow long. Uh, they shall only pull their heads. That's right. So, you know, anytime you meet a guy like this right here, you should already know, you know, that the spirit of the Lord just ain't supping with him. You see that? And uh, let me see here. He got the most, I guess the name of his channel is called the Most High Son. All right, so this dude here, he might he, he might think that he I was shy. You see, none of the videos are edifying. Let me see here. What's going on, man? What the hell is this? Nobody what to do. I don't like to command nobody to do nothing. But I'll love to give you something that's beneficial. Yeah, ain't nothing edifying about this. Where's the precepts? Who are you teaching anything? You see that? Nothing, man. Right? There's no edification coming out of this. You see that, brothers? So, you know, don't worry about this dude here. He's a bug out. All right, let's go ahead and grab it. If they speak not, uh, if they speak not according to this word, right? You already know. Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That's right. So that dude, they ain't got no light in them, man. At all. You see that? Let's just grab this too. Talk without sense. Right, he didn't make any sense or anything. That's why we don't deal with you individuals, man. You see that? Let me see here. Uh, let me see. Slocky. Let's grab this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 21, verse 18. As, uh, as a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. You see that? And the knowledge of the unwise, right? Like that dude that he's unwise is talk without sense you see so you know again you know this is the talk without sense you know jake don't have no idea what's going on he has no concept and again if you ask me when you look at the dude he just nah you know still worldly right probably still shave his you know uh give himself lineups and all of that right you can easily look and tell that the lord ain't dealing with a man you see that so you know just putting this out there warning you brothers and you few sisters gotta warn the sheep you know, mark them, you know, that cause divisions contrary to the doctrine, right? This dude right here probably think that, you know, God loves everybody and all of that. And that's not in the scriptures. You see? So avoid these individuals, right? I got to go, you know, but, uh, you know, just warning the sheep and the flock, you know, watch this individual here, man. All right? And uh, Shalakia, I didn't get to the comments, but, you know, Jake left a you know, few comments. But, you know, ho hopefully this lesson here. You know what's edifying to someone and also informative you know watch these watch these false prophets out here man because you know scriptures tell you to go out here on the highways and byways but jake isn't doing that at all you see but want to tell you to repent like he know the answers anyway till the next time i say shalom